Hey, what's going on guys, Marty, and uh, welcome to another Minecraft video. So today, guys, before I actually get into the game, I just want to say I hope you had a really good Christmas. I hope you've really enjoyed it, and I hope you, you received all the gifts that you've been looking forward to. And um, yeah, because personally, I've really enjoyed it this year. I've had a really good time with the family uh, for the last two days. Uh, all I've been doing, just relaxing, you know, back at home with the family. And I've really, really enjoyed the gifts that I got. So yeah, I've had a really good time. I hope you guys had the same, you know, good time as I had. And uh, enjoyed it as well and um i want to talk about news resolution probably in my next video so i'm going to stop here for now and talk about the game so okay well what i did actually is um just i woke up this morning and what i did is i just went to the nether and i spent about a few hours few good hours uh, just looking around uh, first of all, I want to kind of connect the nether racks and stuff like that because I don't really have that much of fireplaces around in the houses. So I wanted to kind of get the fire racks and um, uh, nether racks, fire racks, nether rack. And um, yeah, I want to get a few things, you know, glowstones or whatever. And uh, somehow I decided when I was there, I wanted to kind of continue until I find a stronghold in the nether, which I'm going to go to it now and then show you how I got there. And it was so complicated, but I'm going to tell you a few easy steps in case if you get lost. So I'm going to head there now and show you the whole things in a second. So, here we are. In the nether, as you can see, it doesn't really look like the nether. I've got trees all over the place. I kept having... I don't know, I just hated to keep coming back to the normal land to get woods and stuff like that. Because I stayed here for like, I don't know... Probably for like a whole day um, last time, and, I, and then after that, you know, today I've spent about another four, about five hours this morning. So I kind of spent quite a good hours in here, um, you know, doing mining and picking up stuff. I've kind of um, fixed up the area here, just as you can see, kind of uh, straightening it all up. I've collected enough uh, nether racks as well. Um, so yeah, I've been so busy um, doing some work around here. I've got glowstones, I've kind of cleaned up most of the area here you could hardly see any glowstones so i've took all of them and yeah another tree there and um i've got some stuff in here i think i need to take back let me just double check oh no these are stuff which i've been using in here as well i shall i take the diamond sword or oh no i don't want to take too much uh, you guys don't know how many times i've actually died so um i don't even know if i should actually carry all this stuff I've already lost the diamond um, axe as well. He's, uh, I've kind of had it um, halfway through anyway. Use so I don't really care. I don't need the shear. I'm not gonna end up shearing anything there. So um, oh yeah, let me just. Oh no, I actually need some dirt. So this is where I've you know this is where my original uh, portal is, and um, I've just kind of made this a little bit extra space here. I don't know if you guys if I actually shown you this bit here before. Um, I've actually shown you when I came to the Nether, but I don't think I've shown you any other videos after this. So uh, I've been working on this area here. I've kind of made it slightly larger, smaller, spacious. I don't know if you guys remember back in um, my old videos when I actually spawned in here. There was a lava right behind me, so I had to kind of uh, cover all this lava first and then uh, dig it all out. So. Anyway, uh, now I've got some trees here which I use whenever I need uh, woods and uh, I've got a little bunker in here. <laughs> uh, so this is my like, little sort of home uh, which I really like. I don't know, when I come in here I just forget that I'm in the nether because um, I don't know, after a few minutes you kind of, uh, I don't know, it just feels dark, it just feels so hellish so I, I like coming in here. Um, and this is where like, I do crafting and stuff like that. I've got some stuff which I picked, which I'm going to take back as well. Uh, I need to actually, let me just do some breads quickly. Actually, you know what? I'll just put the wheat here. They look nice. And uh, whenever I need the breads, I could do them later. As you can see, I've got some stuff prepared already here. And uh, yeah, some dirt. Uh, chicken, no, I need to keep the chickens. Snowballs. I don't need the snowballs. I just got them here for fun. Uh, yeah, I've got two nice flowers here. <laughs> So I'm painting. It's just a little bunker, I suppose, because uh, when I have it on easy and oh, shit. let me just get out. When I have it on easy and um, I'm running away for sometime from the ghast because I'm like I'm not being able to get it or something like that. Uh, they usually shoot at you, and so in this way I have this little room in there where I put all the important stuff just in case if the ghast shoots down at me. So hopefully they would stay protected. Um, they did actually destroy last time a bit of it from this side here, and I did try to kind of build it up. Um, but yeah, it's fine. Anyway, what I did is, um, first of all, what you need to do the first... Oh yeah, I've got some little uh, cactuses growing here as well. Just kind of to protect this. I, I think I'm going to uh, do the whole thing, so I'm going to do it all around. So when I'm running away from certain things, they could get attacked by the cactuses in a way. So um, what I did is first, I stood here. 
and uh, actually no, I stood exactly, I'm going to show you the point where I stood. I stood uh, around this point here and um, no, was, is this where I started? No, this is where I came out from, so no. I'm, I'm trying to remember what I'll, anyway, I'll sit somewhere around here, I can't remember exactly. Uh, so I'll sit somewhere around here and I, you know, click the F3 so I could see my uh, coordinates. And I, took, I wrote down the X, Y, Z and so I know exactly what I am in case if I get lost. If you could look at the top left um, corner, uh, what it says X, Y, Z, just under what it says server chunk cash. So I typed or wrote these down on a paper and then I just went, that's what I usually do, I just go around uh, the whole nether, I don't really care because I know how I'm going to get back because I have uh, the coordinates and um, yeah I've just went all around, you know, looking down there, I'm going to show you actually quickly, uh, yeah I've just went all around uh, picking up some glowstones from here and there using you know, dirt blocks or whatever to get to and um, I've used mostly cobblestones. Uh, so even though I should have been using the cobble, also some more dirt I think down there, <laughs> I forgot to get so, uh, yeah I've just been around, uh, you know, collecting the glowstones which I found and all that and um, so then I decided to go and look for the stronghold which I haven't got to yet because I want to get all the blaze powder and all that stuff, I haven't got them yet on this world, well I've got now a few now of them, yeah, um, so you probably guys know that I've already found it. <laughs> So, um, and then when I got there, I wanted to find my way back, and then um, it was pretty easy. All I had to do was just follow the coordinates, and I ended up coming up um, through that hole here, which I'm going to show you. Uh, this is the way I got to the stronghold now, which I'm going to go through it now. And uh, let me just. Okay. And if you do the same things, it's very easy to get to it. I mean, just go get yourself lost, look around until you find a stronghold. Because I've been getting lots of emails, uh, people asking me, how do you find a stronghold? And I think this is the only way to find it. Just go around the nether, make sure first to write down your coordinates of, um, you know, your portal uh, place. And then just leave it and go around and, uh, you know, make sure you have, like, you know, um, right equipment. Uh, at least a pickaxe so you could break some of these uh, if you want to reach certain points uh, you could you know use them to kind of create roads or whatever so as you can see I've got like torches all around I've blocked certain entrance or exits to certain places because uh, there's no use for them so I don't want to end up when I'm coming back thinking oh I have to go through here so um, there's like little caves with which you don't really need just uh, block them up with uh, I don't know with cobblestones or any blocks you don't really need uh, there's another cave there which uh, leads to nowhere which I kind of blocked as well and uh, yeah, it's, it was pretty nice, pretty easy actually. Um, well, not easy. I did spend quite a good hours, so it's not that easy to find it. But I found it easy to get back because I had the right coordinates, which uh, wasn't a problem. So as you can see, I had to kind of use a cobblestone to make like certain routes. And uh, I was pretty much just, uh, you know, had the, the F3 on, and I was just following the coordinates numbers until I've matched the one I've wrote down. And um, oh gosh, that's a bit dangerous. I need to kind of. Yeah, I need to make these um, the width of these um, little paths uh, two blocks instead of one because uh, they are a little bit dangerous, especially if I have like flow stones, which I haven't really, um, I don't know, I haven't really got to these ones yet. Slightly dangerous, but what I would do probably, I would just come out from here and uh, make like a little platform there before I could start breaking these, like use a cobblestones or whatever to come out from here and then a little platform. This is what I've been doing. I've been wasting quite a lot of cobblestones actually around here, so I do try to get the ones I can, but sometimes they end up falling in the lava when you're breaking them down, so yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you know, it's always good to, to get the glowstones because. I don't know, I really like building and using glowstones back in the normal world, so I really enjoy it. So, I suppose that's what I've been doing. You know, spending lots of time here so I can get the glowstones. So, I know my way. Um, I'm just going to follow it. And the torches helps you a lot. Uh, so you could know uh, which way you have to go in a way like in here there's so many different ways you, I could head to but I had to put two, three torches so I know when I'm coming up from here the stairs I'm gonna go straight to this way um, and I've got some dirts here just in case if I forgot why I have the three torches there so you need to kind of leave a few marks here and there so you remember your way around and it is quite far it's not that close to where I am um, you know to where my port is so but that's the way it is you know you just get yourself lost as long as you have your coordinates there's not a problem and um, yeah just go around uh, pretty much looking for whatever glow stones and all that stuff and um, until I find it so I definitely need to change the, these paths I need to make them slightly uh, wider okay uh, I think we're halfway through yeah okay up here there and there was some big 
big lodge of uh, whatever you call it, glowstone, which I took from here. Um, I had a quite a good amount of it actually, so uh, I was pretty happy. I don't know, I really like when I find like a big bunch of them uh, together, so it's better than go because sometimes you find like I don't know, I've had like places where they're like really hard to get to, and you could only find like three or four. Oh, there's some glowstones up there, so I might need to get these ones. And uh, you know, it doesn't matter how hard they are, um, I always go to them unless if there's a lava beneath them, so it's slightly hard probably leave them from time to time but most of the time I'll try to get to them um, wow there's a lot there so I'm definitely gonna give them a visit soon <laughs> uh, hmm which way from here I think I need to go up here yeah okay there's more torches there and yeah I think we're not too far now nope See, the only things that are uh, the reason why I put this here because um, there was a massive drop from here to down there. So I just want to kind of make myself sure. Um, like when I see something like that, when I have a little stand or whatever, um, that means I have to be careful not to just kind of go straight and then fall down and die. So I've made this sort of like, um, not round, semi round stairs, I suppose. Okay. Good, good. And I've been down there, find some glowstones, which I already took. Uh, <laughs> I work on in these, so they just slow you down. So, it was just me going around trying to look for the glowstones, the truth, and this is the way I got into it. Well, at the same time, I was actually looking for it, but I wasn't like intentionally looking for it all the time, so uh, I was down here, just looking for these glowstones, and then I turned. Um, you can't really see because the render distance is in short now, but I saw some pillars up there, and I was like, are these like the stronghold, um, uh, what do you call it, nether stone bricks, I suppose, that's why they're called, I forgot, and I just kept going straight this way, uh, even though I should have went straight there to get the glowstones, but I don't know why, I just felt like going this way because I saw that little platform there, so I came straight down here, and uh, <laughs> I've run out of stones, I need to continue these four lines. Have I got any more? Oh, I forgot to bring any cobblestone with me. Oh. Uh, I should have brought some. Anyway, I came up here and I saw this little pointy mountain thing and I saw more of the stronghold. You can't really see it now. Uh, let me just get closer to it. Okay. And I was like, wow. I was I was so freaking excited. Uh, let me just get to it. Let me. Cl I need to get closer. There was a bit there. You can't really see it from here. Okay, let me just, gosh, I don't remember walking this much last time. <laughs> it's, it's a huge stronghold, it goes all the way around like this to the back. So I've been pretty much in most places inside it. Um, some more glowstone there, then whenever I see them I feel like when I get them. But I've got no stones, it's so dumb I forgot to bring some. And here it is, this is where I've entered the stronghold. Uh. <laughs> I'm so freaking happy right now because I did spend quite a good hours and as you can see it is very far away from where I spawned originally so where of my uh, you know portal is so I um, yeah I'm, re I'm really happy that I found it and it's a really nice one and look what I landed right next to a spawner a blaze mob spawner and guys, for those who don't really know where to get your blaze uh, powder is, you get it from the blaze mobs. And you kill them, you get the blaze rod, and then you put any crafting the table or whatever, and then you get out of it the blazing powder. And here it is. You know, I usually have it on easy, so I could, uh, you know, get some blaze uh, rods or whatever. And I've been most places, and, uh, you know, the useless places, I usually just uh, kind of lock them off like this. There's nothing down this end or that end. And um, I'll take it down here. I feel like having it on easy. Mm. I don't have enough food. Let me see. Oh, six. Okay. I don't know why I've got snowballs with me. So. <laughs> I've been down there. Look, I've got some science. So, oh, there's another spawner there. Uh, okay. There's another blaze mob spawner. I haven't got any food. So, this is a little bit dangerous. Should I be fighting it? Um. You know what, I don't think I'm going to fight it now. Uh, I'm going to find a ton of them anyway inside. So there's um, some zombie pigments in there. And I want to take you and show you the nether wards farms that I found. I found two farms actually instead of one. And I've heard too many people saying, you know, we've been into strongholds and we can't find nether wards. Why? I'm going to show you where they actually grow as well. And most of the times they grow in the same places. 
So, okay, there's nothing there. You see, I kind of saved me time, so I don't have to go there and look again, even though I've really looked. So, uh, what I do is just block them off, so I know I've been down there, there's nothing there, so I uh, just follow the way. And signs, it helps out a lot. So, this is Nether Ward Farm down there, and you can see it from here already. And here is, this is another Nether Ward. Um, so, let me just get a few of these. I want to take them back to the normal land, see if I could make a farm out of them. Okay. Anyway, so I've got 14 from both sides. There's another nether wart um, farm up there. And yeah, by the way, this is where you usually find them. Whenever you find these stairs, you usually find them behind them or next to them. So I've always found them in the same places. I don't know why. I don't know if this is just me or uh, this is where they usually grow. Okay, let me continue. There's another way to another nether wart. Yeah, here is. This is the second one. And I found some magma cube just in case, like, next time I need to look for a magma cube. I know they like somewhere around here. They spawn around here. Because I don't think they spawn like everywhere. They only spawn like in certain places. The same as um, uh, what's it called? It oh slime slimes. So yeah, pretty much work the same way. I always come down here so I could check if there's any magma cubes as well. And they are slightly rare to find. I don't know why I find it a little bit difficult to find the magma cubes. I need a ton of these because I want to start making the potions and all that. And um, to make the awkward potion, you know, the base potion you need there, nether wart, so... I didn't get that much from these, actually. Well, I've kind of wasted most of my ones. I had 21, I think. No? I can't remember. Um, anyway. Avoid breaking the little ones. I uh, do break them sometimes, but I don't actually mean to. Because you pretty much get nothing from them. <laughs> Okay, 18. So this side is done. Uh, yeah, I think I need to head back now. Where's my sword? And always have the sword ready. Um, oh, I forgot to put the armor on. I left the armor back home. Um, okay, I thought I've got something missing. Okay. Where are they? I don't see any mobs around. Usually there's ton of them when I'm coming back in here. Okay, so zombie pig man is only good to get, you know, the iron ingots. Iron nuggets, I mean, sorry, ingots. Iron nuggets so you could make the iron um, ingots from them. Um, I mean, not the iron, gold. Gold, I mean, sorry. Oh, what's happening? They're not actually spawning for some reason. Is this on easy? Yes, it is on easy. Oh shit, I was about to fall down. I usually have the armor, so I don't get that much of damage when they actually do attack. Uh, but I don't know why, I just forgot my armor back there. So, I don't think there's a need of having it on easy now. Um, I'm just going to head back quickly. And uh, my visit today, it was just to get the nether warts uh, to the land here. I don't think I'm going to come back here for about a few days. I've had enough for the last few days. All I've been doing is just playing around here. So I'm um, just going to head back now. And uh, last night was jokes. I was just, uh, I had it on. And my brother never actually played, um, never actually played Minecraft before. So he was right next to me. We're a big family, by the way. I've got like five brothers. So it's a big family. So uh, my older brother, he never actually played it. So he was sitting down next to me. He's like, what's this? I said, it's Minecraft. He's like, why it looks so old? I said, um, I don't know. It's just a new game, I suppose. Just said to try to make it look retro, I suppose. Um, and he was like, okay, what can you do with it? I was like, you know, you do this, you do that, you get an axe, you do whatever, you know, get some woods. And he was like playing it for about half an hour. And uh, <laughs> my other brother knows exactly how to play it. So, but he's so fussy about it because if if you don't make things 100% like properly, if you're building something and you don't have it, like I don't know, you just don't look even in a way. It would just give you a headache. He would just keep talking about it. He's like, why did you put this here? Why did you put that there? You know, he just, he just makes so much fuss out of uh, nothing. I'm going the wrong way. 
So anyway, um, he was playing it and he was like, because he, he doesn't really know how to make torches. So he was building and it was really dark and he didn't really know how to make the torches. So I, I was away actually. I went out to get um, some drinks and came back. So I came back and he was like, your brother gave me so much headache because he think I could play it. And he's been telling me, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that for the last half an hour? Can you make torches? I said, yes, you can. And he was like, because I don't really know how to light up. And he had so much zombies inside his house. Because what happened is he made a build like a little place. And then he went out and came back. And um, he did not, you know, he didn't have any torches inside. So they ended up spawning in there. And when he was trying to come back to the house, one of the creepers actually exploded. So he destroyed it half of the house. So he went, like, to show if he want to build it again. Because he was scared they're going to actually come back. So, I'm not even joking, within like two hours, he actually knew exactly the whole game, how the whole setup works and all that. And uh, now, he's like, he called me after he left my house at four o'clock. He called me and he was like, four o'clock, I mean, in the morning time. He called me and he was like, oh, I just got back home now. I'm just about to buy it now. Can you tell me how to do the, the ironing guts? Like, how to get them? I was like, oh, you need to go do this and do that. I'm not even joking. From four o'clock to like seven o'clock in the morning, I didn't even go to sleep. All I was doing in the phone, just telling him step by step how to do the whole game. And he definitely, he's like, you know what? I really enjoy it. First of all, you know, that's what I'm saying. You could never judge a, like a, a book by its cover. Because the first time he looked at it, what last night, he was like, what the heck is this? After a few hours of playing it, he got like proper hooked into it. And um, he just like texted me this morning. He's like, yeah, I've got my first diamond. <laughs> he haven't even slept since last night so he's been on it for like ooh, I don't know 20 hours or so he's been playing it really long um, so you know definitely Minecraft is crazy the moment you get into it you just kind of get hooked straight away I think this is what happened to me and this is what happened to many of you guys who are watching the videos right now I suppose I mean um, you know how long I've been playing it I've been playing it for a really long time I know everything's and sometimes I go back and watch people videos like back to the basic sort of things and I really enjoy them I don't know I just I, I really enjoy the whole Minecraft idea so you know definitely guys if you haven't got it yet go ahead buy it because you're definitely gonna enjoy it personally I love it I mean I love every moment that I'm playing on it um, you know I do play other games as well which I really enjoy like Call of Duty I'm playing Skyrim at the moment as well uh, which I have a few videos ready as well to upload to as well for you guys and um, I'm still actually learning Skyrim so I'm not that pro in a way um, you know I need a bit of time on Skyrim but I'm really enjoying it I'm having the best of my time and uh, you know uh, Minecraft is amazing I mean it's I don't know, there's no limit, you know, you could do whatever, you could build whatever, you could uh, do everything that you really wanted in real life in a way, uh, you know, in builds and all that stuff, you could build giant buildings, small buildings, houses, it's crazy, it's amazing, I, personally, I love it, um, so what I'm going to do actually guys now, um, I'm just going to head back home, and I know it's going to freeze when I'm just using the portal, I usually try to skip it, so um, I'm going to take all the stuff which I have in here first, I'm going to head back home and I'll see you guys uh, later. Take care for now and uh, bye-bye.